Men say women take no accountability. And if that's true, then I think it's safe to say that men themselves never understand what they do wrong. And this lack of understanding gets to the point where they keep failing with women over and over and over again. Again, not understanding what they did, where the things went wrong, or where this conversation started to go south. And I always feel like the red flags always start with certain messages. And after certain messages, everything just goes tits up. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. Mess like text messages where certain messages started messing up the conversation completely. So let's begin. So the first example that we have here is two people. Is this is from the girl's perspective on Facebook? No context. It looks like maybe he may have added her on Facebook or something based on uh, the text messages, the first text. But I'm not really sure. So with that being said, let's go. Where you know me from? I'm trying to get to know you. How old are you? 24. What about you? 30. You got kids? So very straightforward. Like, we're not wasting no time. But I guess, you know what? At 30, I'm 29. We don't really got much time to waste right now. He's like, hell yeah. Six. Which is already a red flag. I don't honestly know why she didn't just block this dude off rip. Even in the comments section, everybody's like, bro, what? Like, that would have been the cutoff point for them. And I agree, because, like, bro, you're 24 with six kids. I am a young boy. I don't really know what you're trying to go for here. Because not only do you have six kids, but you are also sitting here trying to talk to another girl. So, potentially, like, on your way to getting another one. So, it's like, wh what are we doing, bro? But she doesn't really seem to mind this. So, she says, do you got your own shit? And he says something like that. And I feel like that right there... That text right there is where the whole thing starts to crumble because that sound, that is a red flag right there. What? Because what do you mean something like that? Like, what does that mean? And she also agrees. What the fuck does that mean? Me kids stay with me, which is like, okay, like a father. Okay. Actually, that, I don't really, like that would actually not really be a red flag because it's like, wow, okay, he has six kids and he's able to take care of his kids. I don't, that would actually kind of turn it back into a green flag. But she sniffed something out even further, even further than me. And she says, do they mom stay with you too? And this nigga says, yes, which is like, okay. You already got the audacity. And worse than just like messing up in the conversation is having the audacity to start this conversation in the first place. So you are 24 with six kids and you still live with your girl. This is the most classic hood nigga shit I've ever seen in my life. No thanks, love. And basically, this motherfucker thinks because he's honest. <laughs> like, because... <laughs> and this dude just completely blows off the rails he basically wants a cookie for being honest that he even told her straight up what was going on and he said nigga can't even be honest with y'all folks it's crazy i'm single af and you bout fuck with somebody and you bout fuck with somebody what do you mean i don't i actually don't know what that means man's once that's weird i actually don't know what does he mean by that and you bout fuck with somebody I don't get it. He's like, bro, you're not single as fuck because not like not only do you have kids, bro, you are living with your baby mother, bro. Literally nobody in the world falls for that shit. I hope anymore. Like, <laughs> I hope nobody generally falls for that shit anymore. And she says, you honest, but be for real. I got my own shit, no kids. And yeah, you single, but you got too much baggage. And then this motherfucker has the actual audacity again to say, I don't got no baggage, the fuck? Bro, you you don't, bro. She's 30 with no kids. Like, I, like, I already know it's like a preference thing for like people without kids to like have, be with somebody that doesn't have kids. Like, because it's like, you know, I want, they want it. I also kind of do feel this way, but like you want it to be your first. You want both of y'all to have, be it for y'all first, right? But obviously, if you love someone enough, you obviously make an exception. But dude, you live with your baby mother, bro. Like, fuck the kids. Like, just take the kids 
out of the situation. Let's say he had one kid, right? You live with your baby mom, bro. Like, how is that not crazy, bro? Like, you stay in, again, you stay with a whole woman. She, of course, she stay with me. And I barely even be there. I be rack chasing. Yeah, bro, you got six kids, bro. You're you're gonna have to chase a lot of bread, bro. But clearly, you don't chase enough bread because here you are about to try to get a baby, another baby mother, bro. So like, what are you, what are we saying right now? You weird for thinking a woman like me would be interested. Just work it out with her bookie dead ass, bro. You live in the same house with her, bro. Like, what do you be expecting here? Eh. <laughs> This dude got the nerve, bro, the even bigger audacity with this bombshell. Like, bro, it's a, so six kids. And then this dude got the fucking nerve to then say, you sound stupid as fuck. I got four BMs and get any female I want out this hoe. Um, really him, you trim. Bro, you obviously not really him, bro. Like, you, like, cool. You got four baby mothers, bro. But honestly, it only takes one time to get them knocked up. I'm not saying you struck lucky four times in that case. I'm sorry, six times in that case. But, like, dude, like, clearly you can probably get girls, but you obviously can't keep them. And you're not going to get this one. It ain't, like, to who? But be him, just not over here. Be blessed. And what's funny is the... Uh, like I said, the girl posted this, and would you believe that they was clowning this guy? Would you Would you fucking believe it? Like, bro, because it's like, there's, like, basically, there's no way. Because, like, you all the way down bad right now. You live with your baby mother. You got four, four baby mothers. Four with six kids. How that four times you didn't work out? You live with your baby mother, and you didn't work out with this one either? Like, bro, at some point, how... How do you not realize what you're, you're clearly doing something wrong? One, is you're not pulling out. And then two, clearly you are an asshole. I mean, hey, you can get them, but you can't keep them, bro. What, what are we talking about here? But the funniest shit is after. Because uh, she goes to clarify in the comment section to send more screenshots. And this is what he says after this. You just cute, shoddy. It ain't that deep. I just wanted to be friends. I don't want nothing serious, to be honest. You don't want nothing serious? You're fucking lying, bro. So why would you be hitting her up? Like, you hitting her, you hitting her up just to be friends? Really, bro? Shut, shut up. You DTM, which is like, I don't... You DTM? You... Okay, okay, okay. Actually, so I just looked it up. This nigga... Whoa! So I just looked it up, right? <laughs> And DTM stands for doing too much. So this dude just really, with the more audacity, level five out here, you doing too much. She's doing too much. The dude with four, I know I keep saying this shit over and over again, but the dude with four baby mothers, six kids, and live with their baby moms, and still talk to another girls to be friends is doing too much? Come on, bro. And then I guess he found out about the post after she put it up. And he said, not you trying to expose me. You can't know I fucked half of Birmingham. So I guess they're in Alabama. You not going to get me no, you not going to get no fame or clout off of me. That this shit, this, this shit weird and lame. You know how many, how many cold. Oh my God, bro. Dude, just, uh, oh my god, like the words literally come out in full, like if you just type them out, like man, like this shit, like this shit is killing me. Okay, let me try this again. <sighs> Not you trying to expose me, I'ma just say it regularly. Not you trying to expose me, you can't know I fucked half of Birmingham, you not gonna get no fame or clout off me, that shit weird and lame, you know how many calls calling. And he spells Colin, C-L-L-I-N, like me after you, so-called trying to expose the kid, you're lying. You want to lie. Bro, who's calling you, bro? You telling me niggas just saw you fumble the bag super hard with the audacity level five, and they're calling you on Facebook? Really? So we're lying. 
Okay, you know what? So that's funny enough. Like, I feel like I'm just going to repeat the same shit. But man, yo, I love it, bro. The audacity is crazy with these niggas, bro. This one's actually a really short one. So let's begin. So the second one is probably finna eat Chipotle. And this, bro, there's a, before we get to this, there's a quote, like there's a video that I think about. If I find it, I put it here. If not, then I don't find it, but yeah. But yeah, that video is generally funny as shit to me because it's like, bro, this is actually the opposite of fake tricking. Like, this is literally setting yourself up to like just tell girls you ain't gonna do shit for them I'm off rip. Like, so it's like probably finna eat Chipotle. Damn, your ass stay eating. Throwing the jokes out, like the red flag jokes out already. LMAO, I stay hungry. Yeah, I see. Shit, your ass gonna start fucking with me. I think it's pretty obvious to find out what text here just completely ruined it. Because right afterwards, you hit his question mark, and he's like, what? And then proceeds to get ignored. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> you not fucking with me. Which is, bro, all that shit is funny. Because, bro, what did you expect to happen? You literally just told this girl she's going to starve messing with you. How did you think? How did you think in any universe you was going to get any play after this one? How? Like, this was the... You literally set yourself up for the failure by saying, damn, your ass stay in. Like, th that, was the, that was the red flag already. And you just... Hey, you just dead ass joke. Like, you just told the truth and disguised as a joke. What was that? Come on, son. All right, so, um, sorry. I know it seemed like the video was gonna continue on because it was, and I recorded this a while back when my phone couldn't connect to my computer, so I couldn't, like, upload my footage to my computer, so. But I'm not leaning it because the, the part that I did record went so well. So, the next time, I'm just gonna say, um, stay tuned for the next video. Um, with the with the rest of the text messages i would say subscribe but let's be honest uh i know how i am so just like d'angelo says well this in 24 hours or 24 years i'll be back <laughs> so um if you are looking forward to more videos like this just leave a like and hopefully you'll remember me the next time i i upload um also, I do live stream on VD Live, my other YouTube channel. I will see you guys next time for more embarrassing text messages.